Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. It is Saturday, I'm here at the San Clemente Outlet for the weekly South OC Cars and Coffee. Let's go check it out. Okay, right at the front row, here we have Simons Cremero. He's the founder of the show. And that's his uh, son James's Porsche Panamera. Followed by a Ferrari F8 Tributo in black. A GT4 with a huge wing. And a lot of people surrounding this one. Okay, so this is a, uh, a Super Light. SLC Super Light. And uh, it's owned by Don Davis. He's here somewhere. And every time I see this car, he's made something new to it. So let's see what he's added. Uh -huh. uh, then, eh, SLC Super Light. Only way you can get in. Oh, I see what's new. He, uh, he changed the seats. There you go, that, that's new. And this is new here. This used to be wood. So he, he wrapped that. Yeah. And uh, check out the manual transmission. You know, because this car is a popular manual. And uh, this engine here, twin turbo, intercool. Used to make, it was making 1,300 horsepower. But uh, that proved too much for these poor rear tires. Yeah, it proved too much for the tires and overwhelmed them. So. He has since detuned it down to around only 850 horsepower. So that makes it a little more manageable. <laughs> yeah, look at that suspension setup, huh? So, look here, connected. <laughs> that is, yeah, a lot of detail work went into that. Now, most Super Light uses an LS motor, but uh, Mr. Davis decided to be different and use a Ford Coyote engine. Why not? Oh. SLC Super Light. Ferrari California. Another F8 Tributo. A black top. And oh, check out this Porsche GT4 in this lavenderish color. It's it's an air rise, air suspension because yeah that yeah that, that ain't going over any speed bumps. GT3, Ferrari Italia Spider. Yeah, one of the cool tech about the Ferrari Italia was uh, this little fin here is actually it's flexible. And at higher speed, it, it, it changes its shape to, uh, to increase uh, airflow or downforce or whatever, whatever is appropriate. 570 McLaren, F430. Uracon, Uracon, Italia, another Italia. This one has the uh, the yellow trim, which is quite cool against the uh, the black seats. Yeah, nice yellow stitching, yellow Ferrari badge, the Guy Auto. What they made before they made the Uracon. The Guy Auto is the uh, the third best-selling Lamborghini, and. Uh, that right there, that the Louis Huracan, they're the second best-selling Lamborghini. So, what's the first? What's the best-selling Lamborghini? Uh, the SUV, yeah, because SUV rules. Not an Italia, uh, not a Huracan. This one is rear-wheel drive. It's not all-wheel drive. A Clement 720S. Another GT3 with the giant wing in the back there. Wow. Right. GT2 RS by Laguna Niguel Collision. Another GT3. And the latest, G, the newest GT3, this is the 992 GT3, so this is the most current one. This was uh, a GT3 from uh, last generation. And this is the, uh, the new generation. So you can see the, uh, the, the new, these new nose. And uh, you can see they also changed the little air snorkel there into, uh, into two. And, it, and other changes is the uh, is in the back, so the, the wing here. So this is the uh, the old GT3 wing, and this is the new GT3 wing. So they went to a gooseneck top mounted wing. Uh, the reason for that is because it actually creates more surface area under the wing, whereas here surface area is taken up by that and those and, and those parts. And most of the downforce is provided by under the wing, not the top of the wing. So that's why 
Porsche did that. Hey, 570 McLaren with a brown interior, tan interior. And, oh, what, what is this? What is this? Wow. Hey, spare tire in the front, engine in the back. Yeah, and there it is. There's the engine. So. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. We're now trouble, I believe this was. Yeah, I think this was. I believe this was a window. That is crazy stuff right there. Uh, Huracan Spider. Audi R8. Oh, a V10. Another Italia. How oh, cool. BMW Hybrid. The convertible version. So this has got an electric motor and a, a tiny little three cylinder, I believe. Yeah. Porsche GT3. Another 911. A Porsche Turbo. And uh, right there is a classic 911. Classic Woody with a surfboard on top. And a nice swan hood ornament. Nice and big. And not to be outdone, I see the owner removed, finally removed the top. Every time I saw this car, uh, the top was on, but now the top is off. So this is a beauty, I tell you. Wow. Yeah. Nice hood ornament. Mirrors on the, uh, on the spare tire. White wall. Yeah. Packer. Oh, yeah. The hooker lights. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call them, the hooker lights. <laughs> Oh, look at that space in the rear. That's a lot of leg room back there. It's still got a little room for storage compartment too. Oh, and, and this little thing here folds down so you can carry additional luggage. Look at the detail on that tail light. Wow. Nice. Classic hot rod, you know, a hot rod, you try to make it faster by increasing engine power and also removing stuff to save weight. And in this case, missing bumper, all right, uh, no windshield wipers, no door handles, right? and totally minimalist interior. Uh, the, the, those uh, pedals are interesting, I mean, the way, so the gas, and then you got the, <laughs> the brake. Yeah, no, no, I don't think this is the best driving position, but hey, you know, as long as it looks cool. Acura NSX. I haven't seen one of these since the early 90s. And uh, the hood is up, so let's see what it got there. Oh, supercharged, nice. Supercharged V6 now. Make a little more power that way. The Polaris Ling Shot. Yeah. This is really technically a motorcycle and it's licensed as a motorcycle because it has three wheels. Even though it takes up the space of a car. Man, the owner did a lot of stuff to this one. Cool. Yeah, check it out. Do exhaust out the back, belt drive, single size swing arm. The cool thing about these slingshot is they start at only like twenty thousand dollars, right, so twenty to thirty thousand dollars, and you can get something that looks exotic, will attract just as much attention or even more attention than any Lamborghini or Ferrari, and just as rare because you know how often you see this thing on the road. Actually, you you'll see more Ferraris and Lamborghinis in California than this. The wing is actually taller than the car in this Mustang. Mercedes-Benz GLA 45. Uh, this is the hot rod version of Mercedes GLA. Uh, and the owner here did uh, more mods to it, like adding, adding this uh, 
under them, adding these canards with a side piece, <laughs> adding that on the, on the hood, carbon replacement, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> a little wrap there. Wow, and then that additional rear diffuser piece. Yeah, pretty crazy. Hmm, a Cam Am. Cam Am motorcycle. This is by Polaris, and it's for people you know who you know, who who don't who wants to ride a motorcycle but you know doesn't want to balance it. Check out this BMW, 1800cc engine. Yeah, that is actually bigger than the engine used in the Toyota GR Corolla. All right, so this is uh, South OC Cars and Coffee. Happens every Saturday from 9 to 11. If you're in the area, come check it out. JohnShopForJohnShop.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Please like, share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.